My name is Jim Rice. I'm the Deputy Director here at the Center for Transportation Logistics, and it's my pleasure to be here and to welcome you to our 11th Crossroads. And I'm going to take a few minutes to just briefly introduce our day, and then I'll introduce our first speaker. Uh, the Crossroads is in its 11th year, and this is an event that is part of the offering that we have for our partners who are partners in the Supply Chain Exchange Program. This is a group of shippers, carriers, and third-party logistics providers who convene on a regular basis with us and work with us in our research realm, research uh, challenges. Uh, now, our center is the Center for Transportation Logistics. We are part of the School of Engineering. And we, our mission is to create innovation and drive that into practice. We do that through our research, through our outreach program, through our educational programs. I'd be happy, more than happy to spend more time with you talking offline about that. Uh, my colleague Katie Davis here, she can talk to you about that as well, as well as anybody from CTL. But I really want to focus on our day today. Um, when you registered, I should say, when you uh, arrived and uh, checked in, you received a handout, should have been a document that has the agenda on the front, the list of the bios for each of the speakers, and then a list of attendees. We will have an event report that we'll make available in May. My colleagues Dana, Andrea, and Meyer here are right up front, they're report writers, and they'll be capturing the minutes of our session today. Uh, one of the things uh, I wanted to do, make sure we level set on the logistics, so uh, in case there are any issues, if you have a uh, everybody take out your phone, please, and put it on vibrate or, you know, turn, put it on silent. Uh, the other thing in terms of safety, the exits are at the, the rear where you entered. There's also an exit down here to my left. And what you do is you go out this door and then to your right, and then it will take you right out to the doors you entered in this building out onto the street. Uh, there are restrooms up on the mezzanine level where you were, where we had that food service at the end of the hall, as well as through my left, your right, uh, this door. And as you go through this door, turn to the right, and there's a set of uh, restrooms right there. Um, in terms of uh, business support, uh, any kind of assistance you need, please see Nancy Martin. She's out at the registration desk. I'm happy, more than happy to help whatever you need. I want to talk a little bit about our program. Our program today is uh, probably the third time that we've done this sort of an event. Crossroads we started 11 years ago with the intention of focusing on those business areas that illustrate the, really the crossroads of supply chain management and business strategy. And for a few, a few times what we've done is we've reached into just into MIT to find researchers who are doing interesting work, maybe not in the supply chain domain, but we think that will have some relevant impact in supply chains in 5, 10, 20 years just to give us an insight of what's possible. And so that's really the challenge for us today. We have six different presenters. They're going to be speaking about very different areas of their research. They're experts in their own realm. And the challenge for us is to, ask, to answer the question, how is this going to be relevant to supply chains? In some cases, it'll be much more evident. In others, it'll, we'll have to work a little bit at that. But I think we'll find it very um, interesting in that experience. The way it will work is I've asked each presenter to speak for about 45 minutes. At that point, we'll break. My colleague Ken Cottrell and I will grab these microphones here, and then we're going to ask you to offer questions to the speaker. And then I've also invited our speakers to ask questions of you. So to the extent that we can, try to make a little bit of a discussion in this session. I know it's a big group, but we're, that's, we're gonna, that's our intention. All right, that makes sense to folks? What questions might you have? See, I'm asking questions you real already. And obviously, you're still not awake. <laughs> uh, this is our program for the day. I'm not going to go into great detail, but we start with Professor Don Sadaway. He's going to talk about uh, energy and, uh, in particular, uh, liquid metal batteries. After him, we'll have Professor Amin, Sarab Amin, who's going to talk about cyber physical security. It's a really interesting perspective that I hadn't heard before until I started to learn a little bit about Professor Amin's work. Uh, then we'll finish up the morning with a presentation by Dr. Chris Kaplis, who's the executive director of our center, about the, his experience in learning from the, a MOOC that he ran just this past, uh, this, uh, past fall. Our afternoon starts with Dr. Edgar Blanco, also from our center. He's going to talk about megacities and the logistics in the cities, uh, and which he says in the near future, in some cases it's already the future exists, and some chal those challenges exist in some cities today. 
After that, we'll have John Hart, who's going to talk about, we call it additive manufacturing, or commonly known as 3D printing. Uh, he's done a lot of work in that realm. He'll share that. And then we'll finish up with Dr. Peter Glor, who's going to talk about collaborative innovation. And I think this is a good parting session because Peter's going to talk about some of the interesting challenges and opportunities we have in some of the new media that will provide new ways for us to identify what the future might look like. So that's our day. What I'd like to